14-year-old Kugonza Jr. was involved in an accident after he slid and fell in a frying pan somewhere in Kawempe early this year. There was some peelings of these chips, so he slid away. And on the process of putting the hand, he just pressed on this flying pan on the what? So it got poured all on the body. Scant information reveals that Kugonza was carried and dumped at his grandfather's home, who unfortunately could not raise funds for his treatment. <laughs> After a week of endless pain, Kugonza was carried by well-wishers and dumped at Lugoba Community Hospital. When he was now starting, the body was rotting. The wounds were turning into sepsis, so he was even smelling. So when they brought him to us in January, uh, we started working on him and we are giving him medication. In the company of his two siblings, Mugisha Joram, and to Heise Nixon, the hospital concentrated on rescuing his life first. Support. Because now if you look at the brothers, they are not working, they don't have job, they don't have where to get money. They are just as the way you see them, they are on. Like here there is no food or anything. Like now where you said that a patient must be having like something to drink, but there is nothing. As you see him, it's like this as Kugonza Jr. and the brothers. <laughs> According to medical reports, Kugonza suffered burns to the third layer of the skin. An estimated 70,000 shillings is spent on his medical bills daily. To dress him daily with medication, injection, uh, cleaning the wound, doing the, this bandaging work and all those things. So you find that the cost is a bit high. Because if it was just a first degree or these slight burns, eh, it wouldn't have taken like a mass to heal. But for this one, it has really taken long. Those said to be out of danger, Kugonza requires lots of foods and fluids. Unfortunately, it is an uphill task for his siblings to offer him such. In a day, can even take more than six liters of water or any juice if you give him. Anytime you dress him, it takes one liter. Biso Bokatoni, the line medical officer, elaborates on the danger that lies ahead of Kugonza should he continue receiving medication without required amounts of quality foods and fluids. His condition, he needs to drink a lot more and more and more, even though after from the, the hospital when he's discharged in, at home, he needs to take more more of the fluid and water. Because he is dehydrated and the fire will be still inside. Painful to note is that these children have and are still going about life without anyone to call a parent. After their father died in 2014 and their mother reportedly moved on with another man. Mm -mm. The other challenge though is that Kugonza is both deaf and dumb. This has often posed a challenge for caregivers to effectively communicate with him. That you know if he tells you that I want to drink, it will show you a sign of drinking. If he wants to eat, it will show you a sign of what? Eating. And if it is pain, you will see him doing like this, that the body is what? Is paining. So that is a sign of pain. Yeah. And if like now in the stomach, he will touch the stomach and then he will tell you that there is pain inside. Having to care for their brother, Mugisha Joram and to Heise Nixon abandoned school despite passing 2018 PLOE examinations with flying colors. If all goes as planned, Kugonza will be discharged in three weeks' time. However, the problem is post-healing conditions might pose yet another challenge. The hospital's current status cannot guarantee quality medication.
at times we connect with the specialist and then we bring them and then, but now like for this case and you know with this financial since it is a private section uh, the best thing is after healing very well we will look for a way how to refer him to the main hospital Mulago refer hospital for more medication and maybe for us we will be doing up the follow-ups financial and material assistance is a necessity for the young man's quick recovery. Yeah, I just want to be able 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 sacrificed their education to care for their brother. How about you that has just seen this story? Dokas Kimono, UBC News.